Hey, what's up YouTube? It's really Rick. Now, if you're a political junkie like me, then you have probably heard about two teenagers recently who have been in the news for some political beliefs that they either hold or held or changed. The first is 17-year-old Jonathan Crone. Now, you might not remember this uh, Jonathan Crone, but you may remember this Jonathan Crone. When at 14, he gave a speech at a conservative convention called CPAC, where he uh, clearly displayed the fact that he was a child prodigy, and he spoke on the tenets of conservatism, um, and literally became the right's uh, new media darling. Uh, he wrote a book, he was on all these interviews, Fox News, and uh, the thing about him was, is I really believed that he believed what he was saying, but the key difference between him and someone else I'm going to mention in a second is he never really said anything patently offensive. He was talking about less government and, and economic issues and everything. Well, fast forward three years and this Jonathan Crone uh, is now no longer a Republican, uh, now believes in uh, Obamacare and same-sex marriage, and is going to be going to NYU. And so the media got a hold of this and said, look at what's happened to this poor 17-year-old. Uh, His views have changed, and he's been corrupted by the left. And um, I just have to say to that that you guys are stupid. My beliefs changed from th uh, 21 to 25. Hell, when I was 13, I thought I was heterosexual, and we have all seen how that turned out. So as Obama's views were allowed to um, uh, evolve on same-sex marriage, so was this 13-year-old, 14-year-old kid's views allowed to evolve to what he is today. And what's interesting is he's being attacked now from the right, those who loved him, uh, much more severely and intensely and rudely than the left ever did with this kid. So Jonathan Crone, uh, good luck at NYU. Yes, you're gonna get laid a lot. And um, I feel awkward saying that to a 17 year old. But then we come, segue, to another 14 year old named Caden Cowger, who is now experiencing his 15 minutes of fame because he did say some things that were patently offensive. Now this is a kid who lives in West Virginia, and as a gay man I notice uh, that he has a fetish for leather jackets in the middle of summer during the biggest heat wave this country has experienced, but I digress. Now what made Caden Cower so infamous is that he made a video saying that uh, homosexuals were sickening and that everyone in his town was turning gay and he blamed it on President Barack Obama and Vice President Joe Biden. Now the Young Turks kind of got a hold of this and poked a little fun at him and of course his big claim to fame right now was that Bill Maher did a new rules uh, ab about him. Basically saying if a 14 year old can uh, espouse your uh, party ideals, then maybe there's a problem. Now, Caden uh, is unapologetic. He is different from Jonathan in that I don't believe he's a child prodigy. I don't believe he's that intelligent. I believe he's just imitating Rush Limbaugh and Glenn Beck. I believe that in West Virginia, that he's probably one of those Assembly of God people, you know, who go to those churches that you saw in Jesus Camp or Hell House, where they probably speak in tongues and, uh, you know, Westboro Baptist Church, I believe that he thinks, you know, God hates fags and he's going to be protesting at a funeral of a killed soldier soon, just trust me. 
But now Caden claims that um, he's not doing this for fame or he's not doing it to get popular, but that's all he talks about on Twitter. So then Jonathan Crone and Caden Calgar kind of got in a little thing on Twitter because Caden basically wants to, you know, uh, suck Jonathan's dick and his fame. And uh, Caden, you're just, your 15 minutes are up. And when I told him his 15 minutes are up, he said it lasted five weeks. And when I, uh, it's not a literal metaphor, dumbass. And when I told him that the 15 minutes of fame uh, came from uh, a famous gay artist, he was like, well, you know. So this political rhetoric and not even rhetoric, but this political strife going on right now between teenagers, uh, I'm enjoying. Uh, Caden, you are a, a brainwashed, uh, ignorant, uh, bigoted little boy, and I wouldn't be surprised in three years to see your views change, like Jonathan Crone, or you're going to be, you know, bombing abortion clinics. That's my video today. Bye.